Wings there for you, sir, with the homemade huckleberry barbecue sauce. Well, thank you. Are the wings fresh? I believe they come frozen. Gina knew I was coming, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't buy fresh chicken locally here. <laughs> Being served frozen food wasn't the start I was looking for. It looks like it's been dipped in elk's blood. In fact, the food just kept getting worse. Pulling back that ribeye is like pulling back that duvet on my mattress, blood stain, and wow, that's strong in alcohol. He's a good wine for this, right? Art. Gina claims her hands are tied in the kitchen. So at this point, I don't know who to blame. That rice is mush. Who cooked that? It's like oatmeal. What the fuck? Idaho rainbow trout with the herb risotto. Jesus. What's all the uh, squidgy bits around the outside? Those are all the sauces. All the sauces? Yeah. No. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Ah, is that risotto? Or some of the plaster that your dad left over from building the new lodge? <laughs> It's still got the scales on it as well. Why would you leave the skin that's soggy like some used condom? <laughs> that has to be the worst trout I've ever seen in my entire career. Wow. Does mum and dad see this food? Do they come and have dinner? They hate everything. They hate the, the dish or? Everything. They don't like the way that she does anything. Then why is she here? When you're in the heat of the season, we kind of just take what we can get. You can't keep on changing your chef every year. I, I agree. We do it every year. Fuck it now. If this place wasn't run by your parents, would you work here? Hell no. Not, not for a second. I don't want to run a restaurant. How keen are you to get out? I, I'm desperate. And if you got a job tomorrow, would you be off? Yeah, I feel like I've kind of done my part, the part that I told them that I would do. You're obviously concerned, and you're doing it more out of affection as opposed to you really want to be here. Sounds like your mind's made up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get them out, please. Would you both come out, please? Both of us? Would you come out? Mm. Both of you. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Jeff Ramsey, nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Wow, uh, so I'm lost for words. What feedback did you get throughout my lunch? I didn't say anything didn't throughout say a word this. To Nothing me. at all. Not yet. Course by course. You didn't even talk to them. No. Why not? I figured that was what you were going to do when we were done. I was hoping at least you're going to say something to them so they can up their game, no? I actually expected you to say something, and I thought, well, should I ask? Or I kept thinking, okay, it must be okay. I haven't heard any comments. Don't you want the truth? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you know the owners hate your dishes? No. You don't know the owners hate your food? No, I did not know that. You've got no idea that Dee Dee can't stand the curry? No, I never knew that. I feel like people have been lying to me. Gina, I don't blame her. Let me, I, I'm going to be frank. The ribeye was overcooked. It looked like we'd opened at the bottom of the dishwasher and that plug was blocked with bits of floating grease. Oh, <laughs> oh God. You may find it funny, but you're no, not a no, chef. No, it was funny the way you just described no, it. No, but art. I mean, no, I'm not trying to laugh about the real No, no, but uh, fucking hell. Look where we're sat, though. If you phoned me on my telephone in the car and asked me what do you think I'm going to be having, I would have never mentioned those dishes.